Okay, so um, Carolyn just shared with me that the one that's the most difficult to round his head is the darkest one. And then uh, this is the and second that's... to the hardest, and this one is um, relatively easy, but none of them are easy. Just These animals know. were um, rescued from Montana, and um, we don't have any idea what may or may not have happened to them or why they may be difficult. I mean, we do know that they've been neglected, that's for sure. And But we don't know whether or not they've been beaten or anything else, and it really doesn't matter, honestly, because we're just going to uh, address the behavior. Where it came from is, is interesting, and, and actually, we will never know really why they behave the way that they behave. So it's, it's really the more that we try to make up stories about why they're doing what they're doing, the more it gets in the way of just focusing on the behavior and helping them come up with a more uh, productive behavior for us. Okay? So uh, I'll just uh, start with this um, dark guy. And so what I'm going to do is give him an escape route. Max? Max. Max. Max? He Dark looks like a Max, by golly. <laughs> That's it. Do you think Max knows it's his turn? Yeah. Kind of do, yeah. I should say, is you, has your experience been that any of these animals um, become aggressive or try to hurt you when you're working with them? Actually, not at all. Okay. They have never kicked. Llamas yeah. really kick much less than alpacas. through that rope. If I were to pull, now I just preempted him or you know did my best to keep him from losing his balance anymore. But if I put steady pressure in there, what do you reckon he would do with his weight? Shift towards Shift it which way? Or away from away from you. Him, right? Generally, it needs to be a two-point. Needs to be a two-point effort. Easy turn.
he gives, until he stops investing in turning away and won't take my escape route, he's going to own me. Yeah. You can see what happens. I, I took note of how you used your hips to push him over. And the other thing that you can do is, you, is put more animals in the pen or make your pen smaller. And sometimes using a half pen with an animal who's really difficult makes all the difference in the world. Is just over there by the table. It's the one that I had made out of that banner. And sometimes, you know, I would love to do body, I'd love to do more body work on him, but I certainly would. I'd be selling away my own principles, wouldn't I, if I decided to wrestle with him to do the body work? Wouldn't wouldn't work. So I'm just going to see what we've got in terms of um, if I can, if he's in balance if he will um, be more amenable to putting a, a halter on, even if I haven't worked his mouth. Usually plan A is I'd like to work with their mouth, I'd like to um, do some nice body work, but you know, sometimes you have to make changes. He is so hard to halter that that halter stays on all the time. And, and you're wiser to do that than to turn haltering into a big fight every time you want to put it on. But I would be willing to bet, like most llamas, he's, he has not, the, the halter's never been a, um, anything that he's been involved in. It's always been done to him. And sometimes just the act of, uh, of letting them see it and being involved with it makes, makes all the difference in the world. And the other thing that you could do is use food and use here. clicker train, clicker training to, we won't take the time right now because I want to get us going. But, and you know, honestly, Matt, let's have a look at it. So my feeling is it's more meaningful right now to say, I'm not going to force this on you. I, I wanted you to just have a look at it, and we'll just call it a day right now. Um, he's going to be here tomorrow, is that right? And I'd, I would like to... Thank you, friend. I would like to... Um, yeah, that would be... Be able to put on a halter that I think fits a little bit. And I'm just taking advantage of the fact that he's wearing one just to maybe touch his mouth because a lot of times um, and then let him just think about better than I have. Because a lot of times the um, the reason that they're so difficult to halter has to do with the fact that their mouth, that they've never had their mouth handled in a way that they actually could take it in. Are you guys holding your breath? Because if you are, yes. it would be great if you wouldn't. Good boy. But I'm using his halter now to balance him. I'm not trying to hold him. Isn't that the boy? No, I'm not using the halter anymore. But you're using your left hand to balance. 
balancing. Yep. And I'm doing lifts now. If you just swallowed, that's a really nice thing. That's nice. 